Hey there, everybody. How you doing? I am Francis, and welcome back to Quartz Party Satchko's Hysteric Birthday Bash. Last episode, we began the harem, and the first competition was a beach flag event, where Satoshi was apparently the flag. Satoshi got scared about all the girls coming after him, so he took off and tried to hide in the school. Naomi caught up to him and fell onto him. And Naomi saw uh, Naomi on Satoshi, and she got possessed, and now is trying to catch us and possibly kill us. So we have to go hide. We have to get the hell out of here. And well, now it is decision time. So where are we going to go? Go to the music room or head for the exit? I think uh, we're going to go to the music room. So that's what we're going to do. There's a music room in here, and it's unlocked. Let's stuck inside. Uh. Okay, sure. Out to the music room we go. The two of them enter the music room. N now what? We hide under the piano. What else can we do in here, honestly? Just as he said this, the door to the room flew open. Oh, and there she is. Oh, where are you? She's coming this way. Quiet, it's dark in here. So she shouldn't be able to find us all that easily. As if in direct defiance of the statement, however, Ayumi suddenly crouched down and looked directly at the two of them. Uh oh. Oh, hi. Found you! Gah. She grabbed Satoshi's shoulder with almost superhuman force and yanked him out from under the piano. Okay, you caught me. What are you going to do to me? Cut you! Uh, snap out of it, Shinozaki! Satoshi pushed back against Ayumi, trying to break free from her, gra from her grip. Ah! Shinozaki! He managed to put enough force into his push that Ayumi lost her balance. Unfortunately, this caused her to slam her head into the piano hard. Oh, I think we killed her. Sh Shinozaki? <laughs> Quest rep? That hurt. Where? Hey, we brought her back to her senses. I was worried we killed her from that. She had a big frown on her face and was rubbing her head where it had impacted the piano. Shinozaki, are you okay? I'm so sorry. Huh? About what? She was staring blankly at Satoshi. She doesn't remember. Well, she is possessed. You, uh, grabbed me and I thrust you away, which is when you hit your head. You did? I don't really know what's going on right now. But as long as you're okay, that's... Ugh! I got a pretty big bump here now. You do? Oh man, I'm really sorry. It's okay. Yeah, I'd imagine that she's back to normal now. And isn't dead. This is Heavenly Host, after all. It's a place specifically designed to drive people mad. Yeah, and Ayumi's been driven to insanity a couple of times before. Not out of the ordinary at all for someone who feels cornered to take on an art persona. How about we just get out of here? Satoshi, Naomi, and Ayumi all stood up and walked out of the uh, music. Wow. Satoshi, Naomi, and Ayumi all stood up and walked out of the music room together. And back with Satsuki. Well, there were certainly some twists and turns in there, but it looks like you're all back with us now. And there's nothing wrong with having a little bit of fun. It's nice to see everybody enjoying themselves. However, you do understand the goal of this challenge, right? Yep, it's to win uh, Satoshi's heart. The three of them were taken aback. They got so caught up in the hunt, the angle of the beach flight competition had totally slipped their minds. That's right! Oh yeah, <laughs> they all had to grab a piece of clothing that he has. Acting as quickly as she could manage, Naomi pounced upon Satoshi, swiping the crown from his head in one quick movement. Got your crown! And Naomi's probably gonna take uh, the robe, right? Or not Na Naomi, Ayumi. Naomi took the crown. Yeah! And we thought the same thing a bite a moment later. She did that Satoshi and tore off his cloak. Yeah, that's what I figured was gonna happen. Whoa! As it was being stripped from his body, Satoshi spun in place dramatically. Got it! All this stuff now are the boots. Naomi, Ayumi, congratulations on your successful captures! 
Now let's see how the remaining three fare. After a short wait, the pitter-patter of frantically approaching feet became audible. Big brother, there you are! Phew! <sighs> finally caught up with you! I think we... Finally went on a circuit through the entire school! <sighs> Yuka and Miss Joy approach the Toshi Komni as if trying to edge closer to a deer. Oh well, yeah, they're gonna take his boots. Man, how does a beach flag run away anyway? That's just bad form. Yes, yeah, Satoshi. You're a flag. You're not. You're not supposed to run. S sorry, but you guys were scary. Honestly. Yeah. Miss Yui and Yuka each took one of Satoshi's boots off of his feet. Well, that means uh, Toko is out, and that's kind of a shame because I had her winning, being like the, you know, being the oddball in this, like the one that has no connection to Satoshi. The one that made no sense, I figured she was going to be the one that wins, but since she's out, uh, I'm still going to go with my second pick being Naomi. Miss Shishido, yukes, congrats! That was exhausting, you know. I can barely stay standing. So, with all the flags taken... Yep, sorry Toko, you're out. As if on cue, Toko finally made her way in through the building's entrance. I'm afraid Toko is the only one left and has thus been knocked out of the game. Toko looked only slightly taken aback by this. And as a penalty to our first dropout... Uh-oh, now we know what uh, Sachiko meant by, well, what she said, and it can't be anything good. Toko shot a dirty look over at Sachiko, obviously putting on a brave facade. Oh, that's not going to help you, Toko. This was bellied, however, by the excessive shaking in both her arms and legs. Oh. You get to sit out the next round! Oh, I thought it was going to be much worse than that, because, you know, it's Sachiko we're talking about. What? Sorry to say, Toko, but you don't get to participate in round two. You basically lost the turn. So your appeal time is going to be shortened. I'm sad to say, going to make things much tougher for you. W wow. So, that's it? Here I was imagining all the horrible things that might happen to me. She immediately fell to her knees on the spot after hearing this, perhaps out of sheer relief. Yeah, she should be relieved. I thought she was gonna die, cause you know what's... With Sachiko and that grin she had, right? You never know what she's thinking. So Toko still has a chance. I'm still going with Toko being the one to win this, like I said, mostly because she doesn't belong here, because she's the only one that doesn't know uh, Satoshi. But if she doesn't win, I'm going with my number two pick, which is obviously Naomi. So there's my two picks. What about you guys? If you guys didn't put down your picks in the last episode, feel free to do it in this episode. You okay? Satoshi seemed to think it was something more serious. So he rushed over to her side to check on her. She flashed him a stiff smile. Yeah, I'm just relieved. There were all kinds of thoughts going through my mind. Thoughts of how I might be tortured for losing this game. Guess this really is a fun culture festival after all. Why do you have your robe and your crown back on? Doesn't Ayumi and Naomi still have those, uh, Satoshi? Yeah, seems like it. Toko glanced over at Satoshi and saw the gentle look in his eyes. Immediately, she turned away and realized her face had gone red. What the hell? Why is he being so nice to me? Because that's basically who he is. And why am I blushing? God, what is wrong with me? Toko shunted these new feelings deep down, unwilling to even entertain them. No. No, every time I trust the guy, he betrays me. He always shows his true nature in the end. Maybe I can trust that smile. It's Satoshi. You can trust this smile. I promise you that. The girls, having completed the first round of this challenge, were all breathing rather regularly. They were visibly exhausted to the point of collapse. Phew, well, that sure was a heated first round, wasn't it? What did you think, Sachiko? I want to see more. Well, you heard the lady. And she's our star today, so let's all give this everything we've got, people. On to the next challenge, which is... Time for the second challenge. Its setting will be... Drum roll, please. It is... Everybody's favorite place in the world, the school nurse's office. 
Is that really a favorite place for anybody? Maybe for Sachiko because her mother was the nurse, but anyone else? I don't think so. Well, everyone sure seems happy about it though. Listen to that applause. The nurse's office? Well, I know that's not uh, Naomi's favorite place, but now what happened to her last time uh, she was in the nurse's office? No. No, that place has such a bad feeling to it. Naomi, are you okay? Yeah, just a little uneasy because I feel like something really bad happened to me in the nurse's office. It did. That's where you kind of lost yourself and uh, hang Seiko. Oh, well, if you don't think you can do it, you can always forfeit and sit this round out, right? Nope, that's not how this works. You must participate. I guess it's just... Oh, hi, Satchko. Satchko, today is a fun card surf festival, right? Can you confirm there won't be anything scary? Sure! You have your friends by your side here. And if anything does happen, I swear I will protect you. Satoshi? I can't trust her, but... But she said what she wants to see is a harem romance. So nothing horrifying is... Too likely to happen. I don't think. No, the only person that's really going to be terrified is Satoshi. And there's a kiss of Satoshi writing on this, so... What's the matter, Naomi? Your face is bright red. Do you have a fever? Uh, I'm fine. I don't have a fever, not at all. Okay, well, that's good. No matter what happens, you're always so kind to everyone, Satoshi. Alright, people, let's get moving! Infirmaries are places of healing, but they're also dream places for two lovers to sneak off to when they're looking to get in a little hanky-panky. Okay, uh, two things. One, since when, and two, where are we going with this? How Garrett can you serve our fair Satoshi? Will you be able to heal his heart? Let's get to appealing, people. I don't like where this is going. The judge for this round will, of course, be Sachiko! Now, your four angels of healing, get to your places! As the door to the infirmary was opened, the first and really only thing that caught Satoshi's eye was the line of fabulous girls in white. Oh my! <laughs> Miss Yoi is the only one that doesn't look any different. Wow. Satoshi couldn't help but stare despite himself. Oh man, you are all looking nice! First up, we have Naomi in an adorable nurse's uniform. She's like an angel from above. Her white miniskirt and black knee socks truly are sexy, aren't they? And that little patch of white skin you can see between the top of the black knee socks and the hem of the white skirt. It's magical, isn't it? Naomi was wearing a cosplay nurse outfit with a miniskirt that seemed to hang down to only about 20 centimeters above the knee. Along with black knee socks. <laughs> she was looking down at the floor, blushing ferociously. Well, you know why she's looking down at the floor? She knows about this place and something terrible happened to her in here. She kept tugging at the hem of the skirt, trying to hide her thighs, but it was a futile effort. Next up, Ayumina! For her, the miniskirt and knee sock looking practically hearsay. She's all about the real deal. Neat and tidy and all nurse. As described, Ayumi was wearing an old-fashioned knee-length nurse's outfit. Yet she still looked horribly embarrassed to be seen in it. Next up, we have Miss Shishido, the teacher in white. Or Miss Yoin, she looks nearly no different. She's supposed to teach English, but instead, she's taking the role of doctor. Or maybe she's giving a lesson in chemistry. And she's wearing not just a miniskirt, but a tight one. Ooh la la. Miss Ray was wearing a blouse and a tight miniskirt, but with a white doctor's gown draped over top. She literally looks no different from what she did before. <laughs> wearing a doctor's gown makes me feel all strict and serious. And finally, we got uh, Loita, 
with a pink nurse's uniform and white tights. It's good old use. D does it look good on me, big brother? The pink nurse's uniform somehow made Yuka look even younger. Oh boy. And with that, the second round of challenges shall now officially begin. Oh boy. The second round is called... Let's get healed! The Forbidden Infirmary! You're all going to cure what ails poor Satoshi using your love power. What? And you'll be doing it one by one. And one on one. You'll be given two scores. In the categories of nursing and love. Each worth 10 points max. And it's those points that you'll all be competing for. But beware. Whoever gets the lowest score has to sit the next round out. So do your best not to be the runt of the litter. Now everyone, draw a ticket. Each ticket has a number on it. When she said the word ticket, she held up what she had in her hand, which was a small stack of Sachiko Ever After paper dolls. Are those the tickets? Ticket? Looks like the numbers are written right on the heads. Just beware, the number you get is going to have a direct effect on the challenge you're given. Changing up your appeal. Satsuki took out a box and stuffed the tickets into it, mixing them up a little for good measure. Each of the girls then slowly hesitantly reached into it and drew out one of the paper dolls. Oh boy. Okay, you all should have a number now. So who's number one? That would be me. Being the first contestant means you'll serve as a model for everyone else. So no pressure, Naomi. For this challenge, we'll be using the dummy doll. Dummy doll? The doll that's used for CPR practice and all that. Uh, okay. Oh, that mannequin-like thing? Sachiko is going to inflict various ailments on the dummy doll, and it'll be your jobs as nurses to observe its symptoms and issue a uh, proper treatment. Okay, I was worried with this challenge that it was going to be Satoshi that gets injured and it's going to be up to the girls to save him. But hey, it's a dummy doll. I'm okay with that. So think of the dummy doll as if it were Satoshi and treat it with the utmost of care. Especially since you'll only have five minutes to deal with whatever afflicts it. And if you don't take care of it in time... What happens? Satoshi starts to slowly develop the same symptoms. So everybody be sure to give this your all. Oh no. So it's kind of like uh, not just a dummy doll. It's kind of more like a voodoo doll. So whatever happens to the doll. It's going to happen to him but it has a 5 minute delay. Uh oh. Excuse me? Okay Satoshi. You'll be stationed by the dummy doll. Naomi you come over here too. Ready, Sasuko? We beg of you. Do your thing. Sasuko sleepily nodded her head and snapped her fingers. Huh? Eek! Uh, what the hell? Its stomach is split wide open. Uh-oh. The dummy's stomach has been torn to shreds with its bloody internal organs jutting out from the wound every which way. Oh, this is not looking good for you, Satoshi. I don't care how good of a doctor you are, there's no way that uh, we're going to be able to fix that. <laughs> okay, Naomi. Administer the treatment and remember to do it with some sexy appeal. W what treatment? Isn't there a lighter ailment you could have given me? The dummy's blood loss was out of control. Naomi had no idea how to stop it. Nor even if she possibly could. The pool of blood surrounding the doll just kept growing and growing. Uh-oh. Satoshi, I think, uh, this is, I think you're as good as dead, man. Uh, Satoshi, your stomach. It's getting all bloody. Okay, that's a 30 second mark. If you don't hurry, Satoshi's belly's gonna get real messy. I, I, I know, damn it. Naomi did her best to gather up all the guts that had spilled out of the gap gaping wound. Oh boy. I don't think just stuffing them back in is going to help, really. 
She then stepped them back into the dummy doll carefully and hurriedly. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna help any. The thick stench of blood was unavoidable. It hung in the air all around. N no, I can't. No matter how much I try, I can't keep the stomach closed. The ghost just keeps spilling out. Naomi stood up and looked over at the desk. She grabbed something off of it, then turned to face the bed. Yanking the sheets off the bed, she focused her strength and tore into them with surprisingly little effort. She seems to have an idea, folks. What kind of treatment will it be? Should be fine to find out. Naomi knelt beside the dummy. Ah! The item she grabbed from the desk was a stapler. Yeah, that'll do! And she was now using it to staple shut the wound in a dummy's stomach. Before a needle and thread, I had to improvise. And I once saw something uh, about sealing a wound with a medical use stapler. I think they called it a skin stapler. Though this is of course just a regular stapler. It's all I had though, damn it. Oh, Naomi, you're quite knowledgeable, aren't you? And to have decided on such short notice to attempt the stapler treatment is also pretty impressive. Satoshi, are you okay? Ah, uh, the blood stain on Satoshi's stomach was bigger now. Naomi wrapped up the dummy's lower body with the strips of sheet she prepared. That should have been enough, right? To heal Satoshi already? Well, Satsuko, what do you think? That was funny! What, what the hell is funny about that? She snapped her fingers. Satoshi? Satoshi's clothes no longer had even a single speck of blood on them. How's your stomach? Naomi hurriedly pulled up Satoshi's shirt to check. Whoa! Satoshi's stomach was smooth as silk. There wasn't a single cut to be found anywhere. You did it, Naomi! Phew! Thank goodness. He seems fine. Um... Naomi... That kind of tickles. Naomi only then realized she'd been rubbing Satoshi's tummy this whole time. Oh! I, I, I'm sorry. Her face immediately turned beet red and she threw her hands back. I was just worried about you, okay? Naomi tried to hide her embarrassment by making a hump face. But this wasn't particularly effective since in the next moment she suddenly burst into tears. Aww. I did everything I could for Satoshi, but... I wasn't sure of my decisions even once along the way. I'm just so glad I made it in time. Seeing Naomi's tears, Satoshi gently laid his hand upon her head. That had to have been pretty panic inducing, but I'm okay, see? Thank you. Satoshi gently caressed her head. Yeah, I really think Naomi's winning this. Like, you can tell, like, throughout this whole series that Naomi and Satoshi were just meant to be together. With tears continuing to stream down her face, Naomi thrust her head onto Satoshi's chest, desperate for his warmth and comforting touch. Hehe, <laughs> this shirt looks like fun to me! Just so you know, today's a party. So, no matter how somebody dies, it's all gonna get reset in the end. So don't worry too much about this kind of thing. Now it's time to assign the points. We'll start with the nursing score. Satsuko raised a small sign with a number on it. Oh ho, so that's 8 points out of a possible 10. That's a pretty good score if I do say so myself. How did you decide on 8 if I may ask? She held the guts that were splooshing out of his wound really well. Then on top of that, she thought of the stapler and actually put her plan into action which was pretty cool. I was panicked I had to do something. So how about the lovely dubby score? What did you get on that? Sasuko raised the same small sign. An R8. Oh ho! More high marks! With another 8! I bet because when Satoshi was miraculously brought back from the brink, Naomi broke down, tears pouring from her eyes. Enter into that Satoshi who gently stroked her hair and comforted her. And I'd say a score of 8 is very well justified here. That makes a whole score of 16 out of 20. I predict this will be a high watermark for the whole competition. Next contestant! Who has number two? We are going to find out in the next episode. So that's going to do it for today. Thank you everybody for joining me. Coming back to Satsuko's hysteric birthday best. Hope you guys are enjoying this and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a nice day. Bye everybody.